In the year 1835, a young British naturalist named Charles Darwin stepped ashore from HMS Beagle. He was just 26 years old and he arrived with no grand theory, only a keen eye and an insatiable curiosity about the natural world. He spent five weeks exploring the islands, meticulously collecting specimens of plants, birds, insects, and making detailed notes on everything he saw. He observed the tortoises and noted how the vice governor of the islands claimed he could tell which island any tortoise came from simply by looking at the shape of its shell. He was puzzled by the marine iguanas, creatures he initially described as, um, imps of darkness. It was the birds, however, that would prove most significant, though Darwin did not fully realize it at the time. He collected numerous specimens of finches, mockingbirds, other small birds, but he initially failed to grasp the full importance of the subtle differences between them. It was only upon his return to England, when the ornithologist John Gould examined his specimens, that the true revelation began to dawn. Gould informed a surprise Darwin that these birds were not from different groups at all. They were all varieties of finches, species new to science.